Hi everybody, this is Dr. Una. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, what I do is I help physician entrepreneurs just like you learn how to build profitable businesses. Now, two or three days ago, I was at the nail shop and there was something interesting that happened that reminded me of something that I learned a few years ago about how to have a great day on a bad day. So I went into the nail shop it was during the week, it was the middle of the day, so there wasn't anybody there. So when I came in, one lady's taking care of me, did a really good job, and the rest of the people, including the owners of the business, just sat, and they were on their phones, and they're kind of just waiting for the time to pass. And I was thinking, well, okay, you have one problem, you don't have any other clients here, but you can turn that into an opportunity. You can realize that that time is valuable time and you can still use it and get a return on investment with it, even if you weren't actively taking care of clients. So I started thinking about it. I was like, what could she do on a day like this where maybe she didn't have as many clients as she wanted to, to make it a profitable day, right? And I started thinking, well, you know what? What I learned when I started my practice years ago was until you have enough patience, your job is to get patients, <laughs> right? So for her, she didn't have clients. So her job at that point was to get clients. So what are the things that she could have done? Well, one of the things she could have done is she could have reached out to all the clients that she hadn't seen in the last three weeks and said, hey, I'm so glad you used this three weeks ago. Um, I hope you had a really great experience. It's that time again. So I would love to help you schedule your next appointment. Um, please just give me a call or respond to this text or whatever. She could have done that. And think about it. If she did that for an hour or two and she got five, six, 10 appointments, even though she wasn't actively serving clients, she had a return on investment, right? The second thing she could have done is she could have called you know, um, clients that she's seen in the past who really ooed and awed about her service like me and said, hey, we saw you last week. Thank you for the wonderful compliments you gave us. Can, you know, are, there are other people in your life who could use our services. Would you forward this link to them so they can schedule an appointment? Could you connect us, right? Asking for referrals. Now, even if a lot of people didn't respond, maybe for every 10, one or two or three would respond and say, sure, right? And most people would be happy to refer. I would be happy to refer because she does a really great service, but we kind of need to be asked to do that. You know, it's human nature. The third thing she could have done is she could have reached out to people who talk to or service a lot of her clients who she's not in competition with. These are people I call a center of influence. So she could have reached out to spas that don't do the manicure, pedicure side of things and say, hey, for every one of your clients, could you give them this gift certificate and tell them if they come to use our services for the first time, they'll get $10 off? She could get clients that way, right? Um, OBGYNs, there are lots of women there <laughs> and they all have nails, right? And you can say, oh, you know, for the moms who want to pamper, you know, your pregnant patients and all of that stuff. So put this gift certificate in there. And if they come, they get $10 off. Um, it could be corporate gifts. There are many companies where most of the employees are women. So do you see, if she had done all those things and booked herself solid for the next two or three or four days or one week, right? If she did it with her staff, even though it was a slow day, it was still a very productive day and she would have still, um, you know, had a great day, even though it was a bad day. So think about how you can apply that to your business. So maybe you run a practice or you have a coaching business or you're a consultant or you're a speaker. It may look like I don't have the number of bookings I want. I don't have the number of appointments I want. I don't have that. Okay. But on a day like that, what can you do to make sure that you have a great day, even though it was a slow day, right? So what you need to do is on the days I don't have all the business I want, my job is to get all the business I want. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you enjoyed this at all, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm going to do what I ask you to do, which is ask you to share this, share this with your friends and colleagues as well. And I included all the links for how to find us on our, so on our social media, join our Facebook group, the Entree MD tribe. And remember, 
you're more than an MD, you're an entree MD. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.